Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. Uh, I'm just back from the ADL dinner last week in New York City, and uh, you'll be reading about that in this week's paper. This year, the event was a family affair. Uh, all of the honorees were husband and wife honorees, and they were each introduced uh, by their children, which lent it a very, uh, very nice touch. Jonathan Greenblatt, the new CEO of ADL, was on hand and talked about the uh, organization's mission and, and made a point to note that now more than ever, that kind of mission is very necessary. So for complete coverage, please see this week's issue of Furniture Today. So we'll just go around the table and uh, we'll give you an idea of what's happening in the furniture industry this week. Well, Bill, as you know, um, reclaimed wood is a very hot trend, has been for a while now in furniture. Um, and an outcropping of that actually is uh, reclaimed boat wood furniture um, from Indonesia. And so I took a look at, at boat wood furniture and uh, visited uh, an importer uh, based in Hickory, North Carolina, and also talked to a couple of retailers that have been um, actually waiting for their boat wood furniture to arrive uh, for a little while now and have been um, having great success in their stores with it. It's really catching on. It's very colorful. It's got a green story that people love. And it's also got that, that you know, human part of it where you're, you're really giving back to the communities, the Indonesian communities of um, uh, fishing families and generations of them. So we're going to take a look at that. Sounds exciting. Tom, you have uh, some regulatory issues you're tracking yes. this week. What's going on? Yeah. Well, Bill, on the uh, regulatory side of the business, we've been reporting a couple of interesting things over the past week and a half, and we'll have something else interesting in this coming week's print edition. The big issue is tip overs. And as the industry knows, this is a big issue because of the impact on small children, both injuries and deaths. And there has been a, uh, an initiative that Health Canada has alerted the American Home Furnishings Alliance that it's going to begin product testing to see if case pieces meet the tip over, the voluntary tip over standard. And if they do not, for products sold in Canada, there are going to be some potential consequences, recalls, fines, and even possible criminal violations. This is the word from Health Canada to AHFA. On a similar note, the um, AHFA is trying to reach out to its, not just its membership, but the industry is at large to see who is complying with the voluntary standard because a bill introduced by Robert Casey of Pennsylvania called the Sturdy Act is basically going to have the Consumer Product Safety Commission determine is this voluntary standard good enough and who is complying with it. And if they find that if there's not enough compliance within 18 months of the passage of the bill, there could be a mandatory tip over standard in the U.S. as set forth by the CPSC. So it's actually important for people in the industry to uh, let the industry know and make it known that they are in fact complying. Yes. Otherwise, they will have no choice but to comply. That's right, because AHFA says that it knows that its membership complies, but that only represents about half of the sales. What's going on in uh, the wonderful world of upholstery? Well, we are talking all about color. So we've been focusing on that really from the trends perspective with Showtime the past few weeks. So we'll have a wrap-up um, video from Showtime, but we're also drilling back a little bit, and we're looking at the psychology behind color and what that can bring when it's considered to product introductions in the retail floor. So we'll have uh, we'll have some fun references to color and different a different take on it this time around. I'm very interested to read that. That wraps up this week's edition of Frontline Friday. I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business.